My name is K3Gamer K3, and I'm just here to do a quick episode on how to get your lighting to line up from one floor to the next. And all I'm doing right now is punching holes through the floor so I can put glowstone in. It's going to act as light for both um, a floor and a ceiling. So all I've been doing here is kind of finding the next little diamond of light that I planned out and then uh, just trying to line it up. Uh, let me go to one that's near an edge for you guys because it's going to look a little better. Oh, I was already done. I already did like edge edge of everything. Maybe that one? So I'm looking straight up so I know I'm directly underneath that gap. Yeah, maybe that'll be a little bit of a view. But yeah, that's pretty much all it takes. Once you get low on heart, you want to take a break. It helps that feather falling. And it's really cool because uh, the boots actually aren't taking any durability damage from falling like this. And once your heart's back up, you can keep going. Maybe combine a couple pickaxes while you're waiting. And then I like just to make sure that it goes all the way up. Yep, you can see the sky through there. And uh, punches the holes through all your for all your lighting through every single layer of your castle. Or whatever your build is. If you're doing lights that work as a ceiling light and a floor light, it should work for just about anything. As long as you're keeping your pattern consistent. Uh, now these are off just a little bit from each one. That's like over 1 and 13 or something like that. I thought about having every other floor go the other way, but then I wouldn't be able to do this. It'd be a lot more difficult to get all of it planned out and punched through and... Honestly, I think it'd just be better to keep it consistent from floor to floor anyways. So... Alright, it looks pretty cool. In the daylight, this actually provides enough light. Shouldn't ever go below 8. Actually, it doesn't go below 9. That's pretty cool. Oh, because light is 15, so... This light comes down through its uh, source at 15 instead of like a, the torches that I had that were 14. But obviously this wouldn't work once it hits night. So after you get one of those done, you just head up and do the next and that's all there is to it. It sure does look pretty cool though. Alright, well my name is K3Gamer K3, and this was a uh, short on how to punch lighting through very easily. Just some feather falling and some good timing. That's about all it takes. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe for more videos. Be my friends on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next time.